So a couple days into a taper, so um, even if you're not racing a lot, if you're working out, it's a good idea to test every so often, even if you're not going to a meet, um, because learning how to taper and rest properly is definitely not just a science, it is an art. And it depends on a lot of things, I've probably posted about this before, but it's always good to remember because um, a lot of us train hard, um, or at least train hard with the time that we have, and then we don't want to screw up the, uh, you know, the test that we have. But also it's a good idea to test even if you're not going to a regular meet because as we age, the aging process alone will change how much time we need to rest and how to sharpen the saw to be the best we can be. So really three main factors in tapering, you know, the frequency that we come to the pool, number of times we're going to work out. Um, so that's number one. The volume, how much uh, time we're spending in the water and the yardage we're doing, and then the intensity. And if I'm tapering for a longer swim, I'll usually keep the volume up and lower the intensity at first, and then I'll lower the intensity and volume as we get closer. Um, if, if I'm if I am uh, tapering for a shorter race, then I'll reduce the volume and intensity at first, but we don't want to reduce the intensity too much uh, because we don't want the body to go to sleep. So there, when I'm saying intensity uh, reducing for distance swimming versus sprinting, it is two different things. So uh, good to experiment, know where the body's at as we age. You know, I feel like I'm uh, ever so heavy laden C-130 uh, trying to land on an aircraft carrier instead of a fighter jet landing on a larger aircraft carrier, a C-130 on a smaller. So uh, it seems like I need more rest, but I get out of shape quicker. So it's it's important to sharpen that saw. So uh, this time around, I'm probably going to be tapering for a, a shorter race, uh, just the 200, because I haven't done that in a while. I'm usually resting for a 1,000 or a mile or a 400. So uh, I may bring the yardage down. I'm still only resting like a week to 10 days uh, because my volume wasn't up so much. If I was doing a lot of volume over 30,000, uh, I'd definitely rest two weeks. I'm not even close to that. So um, so trying to get the tempo down in the pool um, because uh, your, your strokes will change. If you're doing a 200 for time versus a mile, it's a different cadence. It's a different stroke. The legs are doing different things. So I'm more used to the longer distance stuff. Getting back into that 200 cadence and using the legs a little bit is a different uh, game altogether. So uh, when I was in college and training hard, you know, I definitely six-speed kick the whole time. I can't quite do that yet. I'd love to be able to experiment and see if I can just by kicking a little more, and I have up to a little, but not enough to do that. So I'll still be doing some type of a, a little bit of a harder than just a two-beat and uh, kind of have fun racing. So good luck out there. Um, train hard but we don't train as hard unless we have a test so even if you're not going to competitions you ought to test yourself every so often at least twice a year uh, the other thing i'm doing a let's see the monday of thanksgiving week i'm going to do a 500 yard combat side stroke test so i did that a year or two ago and went 638 and uh, so that was good for me as an old guy so if a 56 year old can go uh, under 640, so that's my goal, you know, under 640, uh, it, just to show that it can be done. I'm not strong or, or uh, have the power I used to, but a lot of it's technique. So uh, for a 500-yard combat side stroke, um, you know, I teach a really long full-stroke combat side stroke, but I'm going to be doing a half hitch to go to stroke rate, see what kind of speed we can get. So anyway, the minimum goal is under seven minutes, uh, and we're going to go to the closest 6.30 as I can, but anywhere under 6.40, 6.45 would be pretty good. So I'm going to videotape that the whole time, uh, this time, so we don't have any naysayers out there saying, hey, uh, <laughs> I don't believe you. And so we're going to see how we do on videotape. All right, good luck.